All right, here's the deal. Uh, we got a president right now who's having a lot of trouble convincing people not to destroy every piece of artwork that we have in the United States. That's probably because uh, all them sons of bitches can't build a statue themselves. Uh, they don't understand the bronzing process or whatever it's called, smelting, I don't even know what, the, whatever it's called. It doesn't matter. They, they can't make a damn statue. And they definitely can't make a statue that's older it, like it, it, and it, it's it's both high quality, like uh, it's a long-term lasting statue, and it's older than any statue in probably, uh, I don't know, I don't know how many countries don't have statues that are like that. Even the thing is, gr ancient Greece had them, but the Egyptian statues definitely aren't that realistic. Um, they're definitely not like high quality. I, I have a friend, uh, Dr. Soderberg. Uh, he's not really my friend, but I consider him my friend. He's a nice fella. Uh, and he, he, t he told me a little bit about working with bronze, and he, 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 he's the person I view as Raphael. Like, if, if I was going to clone someone and say, okay, here's Raphael, that would be Dr. Soderberg, and his name is Soderberg. All right, so uh, anyways, um, he, he explained to me how difficult it is for him to make him one of them complex statues. For example, a Merlin's throne has like 100 pieces to it. And it's not that complicated of a statue, but I guess it is a little bit. Uh, all I'm saying is, uh, when you destroy a statue of Ulysses S. Grant, the man who went out there and almost died, um, and and it was primarily to to free slaves, um, because he had a slave, which means that he basically had a relationship with a black person at that time period. Because oh, okay, if you if you didn't have a slave. What, what, what would be of that person? See, see they're a nice, you're a nice slave owner. You have a friend who's a slave, and they are who you hang out with. Um, if, you, if, if you didn't claim them, what would happen to them? Well, probably something real bad. All right, so um, all I'm saying is uh, you demonize every slaveholder, then all your, what you're doing is demonizing all white people, and all white people are the reason that you have food. Because, I mean, I don't, I don't think you understand the population of the world right now would be impossible if it wasn't for white people. And I know that everyone's going, how in the world did a white supremacist come up with Django Unchained? Well, what I'll tell you is um, I have a brain and that's why I'm a white supremacist. It's because I know one thing in the entire world is that I am a different level of smart compared to a lot of people. Um, but then at the same time, on, on a standardized test, they'll kill me. Like, I, I, they're, the smartest black people will kill me on that test. It's just, well, maybe. I don't know. I've never really taken the SAT, and the GRE is that hard. And I, well, it, and I, and I didn't have a math upbringing. I, I was very specifically kept away from science during certain times in my life. Anyways, um, all I'm saying is... Um, it really pisses me off the way that black people have become where everything uh, is about bitching. But I do understand um, it's hard to find opportunity and it's especially hard to find opportunity when you're average. And if you're black, you're more likely to be average. If you're white, you're still like, like mathematically, you're still very likely to be an average person. That's why America's Got Talent only has judges that aren't from the United States. And that's why, um, like, like Google is, 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 is a Russian guy's company. And that's why, um, like, we got Indians in charge of Microsoft. We got Indians in charge of, or, or an Indian in charge of, of Google. Or what is it, Alphabet? Which one does he, is he in charge of? I guess the, the Russians in charge of Alphabet. Google got, okay, all I'm saying is um, there's a reason we got to import brains from the rest of the world it's because the average white person is is average that's that's how average works so um the united states is average on average but that's why people like me matter but the problem is the average people want to kill us because the average people can sometimes speak really well and use race a lot and they can be a prosecutor and then learn the politics game because if you ever seen blue bloods um the, the female lawyer, does she seem kind of like a cop? She's working with the cops constantly trying to prosecute people, but then sometimes she's against the cops, but then really she's not. She, she's very with the cops. 
Like in real life, she's with the cops and that's what Kamala Harris was. She was a cop and no one even, no, no one during a debate goes, she's a cop. Katie, Amy Klobuchar, she's a cop. All right, so Katie Gluck uh, blocked me, which makes me feel very emotional, makes me feel like she don't love me or that someone from the New York Times said, okay, you can be involved with the story, but um, you can't talk to him anymore because he's gonna keep tagging you and um, you're, you're gonna go crazy. All right, so that's disappointing. All right, Kat Tamf. I think I have to think of her as a comedian that just wants to make money. I feel like I always want people to be better, better than they are. Like I always want people to just have a, have a, have a moment where it clicks in their head. All right, so um, Max Lucado, um, I think all these people are saying, no one knows where his story, where his, uh, where his uh, idea came from. Max probably gave it to him because Max was his favorite pastor. Well, actually, uh, my favorite sermon preacher, my favorite teacher was a Bible scholar who went verse by verse through Revelation, but he also went through verse through, verse, through a lot of uh, books of the Bible. Uh, his name was Dr. Tolson, and I believe he was from Houston. Maybe it was Bethel or Bethany. I can't remember where he was from. Um, all I'm saying is uh, I was a young kid that was reading books by like people from like Dallas Theological and Denver Theological, like uh, Harvard Theological, like very serious scholars in, in, in Christian uh, regarding Christianity and um, I was listening to a lot of tapes from Bob Tolson which were very old tapes uh, I mean that was when we had CDs and I had to get the tape player out and that's when he talked about John was in the spirit he was um, he was on earth but he was existing in heaven um, and um, and John talks about being in the spirit multiple times and that, that's where the idea for peace in a place we don't belong with, uh, peace in a place we don't belong comes from. And Max Lucado was specifically told I, that I was writing a book called Peace in a Place We Don't Belong. And I explained the concept before, behind it to him. And, um, and all I'm saying is I'm pretty sure that the reason that they put me in his Bible study after the first year, because the first year I was living in Kerrville, but I, uh, Pastor Dale, like what happened one day, they had a healing service. And it wasn't, was it Jesse Duplantis? I don't know, I think it was someone else. Uh, they had a healing service and I rushed home to get my mom because I didn't know they were gonna have a healing service. I was like, God's gonna do it. I, I know one thing in the world, I have faith. There's, I have faith in my seed. I have, no, I don't have faith in the fucking willow tree. And um, then what happened is uh, I went, I, I drove so fast home to get my mom and I brought her to the service and that's when I, they didn't heal her. They were trying, it was bullshit, like trying to like push her over because she wouldn't fall over. You know, because normally you, you tap someone on the head and they go, Whoa! oh man. Uh, I think what happened is they saw my parents and they saw Mark, because my, my, mom, my, my mom used to drive a Lincoln Navigator and they thought, man, we can get a lot of money from her. That's what I'm saying, Pastor Dale's a real con artist. Um, yeah, he'll heal you real quick. Uh, you just got to give him enough money, but the problem is my parents didn't give him enough money, I guess. Yeah. All right, so um, there's real evil out there.